Hello and welcome to my channel Cupid Educational Services. In this video we are going to talk about the ISR aptitude test 2021 which will happen in a month's time. And in this particular video we are going to analyze the previous year's papers. I'm going to tell you what important topics you should be focusing more on and then I'll tell you the expected distribution of questions uh, in the ISR aptitude test 2021. 21 so without wasting any further time let's directly jump in to the our main content yes there is one point uh, before we start you will find the detailed explanations of all the previous year's questions on my website the link of the website has been put in the video description so mo- most of you already know it but just in case if you are a newcomer to my channel the link to all previous year's questions has been put in the video description okay so as far as mathematics is concerned i have divided the entire icer uh, syllabus into uh, two categories the first one is the principal topics and the other one is the miscellaneous topics so this distinction between principal topics and miscellaneous topics comes from the fact that in in the previous uh, years papers the principal topics have the highest weightage miscellaneous topics do find uh, some some portion of the uh, they are assigned some portion of the 15 uh, questions but mostly the questions are more uh, inclined towards the principal topics okay so there are 10 topics 2d and 3d coordinate geometry complex numbers probability and uh, statistics with the counting principles and permutations and combinations functions of course and the main thing the calculus part matrices and determinants ordinary differential equations sequences and series and lastly trigonometry so if you focus uh, more on the principal topics you are more likely to to succeed in the in the mathematics section now let's see the miscellaneous topics now the miscellaneous topics include a lot of uh, there are a lot of them okay binomial theorem is there mathematical induction is there polynomials roots of equations are there relations among the roots and the coefficients then sets and relations the precursor of the functions uh sorry the polynomials has been repeated twice yes then you have abstract algebra i've seen a i've seen only one question in i guess 2018 uh, which is based on the the concept of abstract algebra okay and then you have linear inequalities you have logic and many other topics but primarily uh, the the whole the whole question paper will be based on the principal topics or at least that has been the case in in the in the previous question papers all right yes so in this particular table what you can see is uh, i have uh, included or i made a column of the principal topic and how many questions came in in the previous years there have been four uh, versions of this particular examination it started in the year 17 then 18 then 19 and the latest was in the year 2020 okay so if you go to the 2 and 3d coordinate geometry combined including vectors uh there was at least one question in in every year okay and and the weightage can be seen to be increasing increasing in in the recent years like four questions in 19 and three questions in 20 okay complex numbers consistently there has been one question on complex numbers de moivre's theorem algebra of complex numbers and so on except for the year 2020 then if you go to counting principles that is the permutations and combinations topic then the discrete probability statistics in discrete probability the addition theorem the multiplication theorem the bayes theorem all those things will come odds and also the probability distributions okay so you can see that at least one or two questions can come from counting principles one question either from probability or from statistics okay then of course the the calculus part differential calculus integral calculus functions and then odes okay this forms the core you can see that uh, in the year 17 and 18 there were two questions each on differential calculus and no questions in 19 and 20 this doesn't mean that there was not a single question based on derivatives derivatives were there they were involved but primarily they were based on let's say functions or uh, graph of a function and so on okay yes and when it comes to functions it seems it seems that this is their favorite topic 
or or it has been in 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 the last four years. Three questions in seventeen, four questions in eighteen, two questions in nineteen, and three questions in twenty. Now these are mostly questions in which, uh, well, there will be questions on functions, but they will also mix something else. Like you you can define a you can define a question from fun on functions using matrices, right? Like a uh, consider the squaring function a squared. Okay, f of a equal to a squared for any two by two matrices. Then is it one one? Is it on two and so on? Okay, so so unless you know what what is one one and what is on two, you cannot solve the question. But you also need uh, domain knowledge of other topics. Okay, but yes, functions is what they like. Integral calculus. I mean, the the any entrance examination question paper will be incomplete about integral calculus. Okay, so you'll, you can have one or two questions, mostly two questions in your uh, paper. Okay, matrices and uh, determinants again. Uh, one question is hundred percent going to come in your test. Okay, one question in seventeen, two in eighteen, one in nineteen, and two in two thousand twenty. Ordinary differential equations, as far as uh, modeling various phenomena in natural sciences and applied sciences is concerned, is very important. Okay, ordinary differential equations. So there was one question in seventeen and one question in twenty, but again, you know that. in order to solve any differential equation you have to integrate okay yes then sequences and series is another very fundamental uh, topic as far as calculus is concerned because the way you define any definite integral is well there are two ways first one is the antiderivative uh, approach and the other one is limit of a sum okay and that sum is nothing but an infinite series right Yes, so you can expect one question on sequences and series as well, or it can be very simple, like a uh, question involving geometric progression, or question involving arithmetic progression, harmonic progression, or Maclaurin series, like e raised to x is one plus x plus x squared by two factor, and so on. All right, or if you go to sequences, they might ask you questions like, is it bounded? Is it convergent? And so on. Okay, so automatically concepts of limits will come into them. Okay, then trigonometry, although uh, not 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 as uh, difficult as the integral calculus or other topics, trigonometry is required. Okay, yes, so you can expect one question or no questions at all. But again, you will use trigonometry to solve other problems. Like in in complex numbers, we have e raised to i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. So unless you know properties of trigonometric functions, you will not be able to solve. that particular problem and lastly we have the miscellaneous topics which i showed you in the, in the previous slide right so there were two questions on them in 17 one in 18 one in 19 and three in 20 so this is this is the topic wise distribution of previous years questions and the board has also released their governing council they had also released two mock papers for the 2021 so i also analyzed them okay and you can find on that distribution in the last two columns model paper 1 and model paper 2 again you can see that more or less the distribution of uh, topic wise distribution of the mcqs was more or less same as the actual previous year's questions okay two to three questions on 2d and 3d with vectors one question each on complex numbers well actually in model papers the probability statistics and counting principles was given more weightage okay but these are in my opinion easier to solve than the other topics okay differential calculus again there has to be a question functions yes there was a question in model paper one exclusively on functions and no exclusive question or direct question on functions in model paper two right integral calculus there were three of them in model paper one and only one in model paper two matrices and determinants yes there will always be one question and it has always been the case as you can see in that particular row <laughs> in fact this whole uh, table itself is a matrix right yes then ordinary differential equations again th there is not a question there but yes it ca comes in, in integral calculus okay discovered there sequences and series yes there were two of them in model paper 1 and one in model paper 2 trigonometry yes one question in model paper 1 and one in model paper Well, none in model paper two, whereas for miscellaneous topics, uh, there is only one question in model paper two, and none in model paper one. Okay, so 
based on the analysis of model papers and the previous year's questions i have come up with the most likely distribution of the uh, the questions in your examination that is 2021 okay so i have used two colors here the blue things represent more weight okay or if you focus on these topics it is highly likely that half of the question paper will be based on these topics okay and the green are well they are less uh, weight but definitely uh, these questions will come in the in, in the answers in, in the exam because of the repetition in the previous year as well as model papers okay so the the topics which have heavy weight or uh, relatively more comparatively more weight as are 2d and 3d coordinate geometry two questions counting principles probability statistics two differential calculus two and integral calculus three this is the most likely distribution of questions okay so 3 plus 6 that is 9 so out of 15 you can expect nine questions entirely on these blue topics that i have uh, in indicated and then we have complex numbers and matrices okay there will only be one question each but i am 100% sure that they will be there and then uh, i think one question will will come from on functions and one question each from sequences and series trigonometry and miscellaneous topics one okay see this is the most likely distribution of questions and this is purely based on the analysis of previous years question papers okay now usually these big examinations they don't like to change their a uh, topic wise distribution or i mean they do change but not significantly okay yes so if you if you prepare 2d 3d well complex numbers well in complex numbers of course some part of trigonometry is involved counting principles probability and statistics again in probability if it is a continuous random variable then you need you need integration right differential calculus mean value theorems uh, increasing and decreasing functions so on integral calculus yes both of i mean there is a huge body of numericals in integral calculus like it is in, in the differential calculus right matrices yes you can have questions on kelly hamilton theorem powers of matrices then system of linear equations like how many solutions does the given system have and so on okay so yes if you prepare these then this is actually covering 11 out of 15 questions if you prepare only these but i'm sure you'll prepare the rest of them as well functions well functions are fundamental to differential and integral calculus right so yes this is the expected distribution of questions in the sr aptitude test 2021 and yes that's it so all the best for your sr aptitude test if you have not subscribed to my channel then please consider subscribing to my channel we are about to cross the 2000 subscribers mark so once again thank you for watching bye